the man who brings the two halves together, Dale Winton. Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you. Welcome to the other half, where contestants can either win a fabulous holiday in faraway places like New York, Hong Kong, Mauritius, or a trip around the M25. Now, <laughs> let me make it clear, this is no ordinary trip around the M25. Now, the lucky winners will be treated to a five-course meal at the service station of their choice. <laughs> and we give it all away here. And if you haven't nibbled the chef's special as the moon rises over the lorry park at Clackett Lane, then all I can say is, you haven't lived! <laughs> and I know lorry parks. But now... <laughs> to punch her once. <laughs> and now let's meet the people who will be playing for those prizes tonight, starting with Melanie Flynn and George Hatton. Hi, gorgeous. Oh. oh, it's lovely to see you both. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, you're trying very hard to spot another half here. Now, in your case, you spotted each other very early on, didn't you? You've known each other a long while, haven't you? Ten years, yes. Ten years. And we have a very talented lady here. Um, am I right in thinking you were, you were both blue coats? We That's have right, yeah. yeah. Is that like a rude version of red coats? <laughs> <laughs> just better. Just, just better. <laughs> Superior. And uh, you proposed oh. to Melanie in a way that, basically, she couldn't say no. Is that right? That's correct. Where yes. was this? It was when we were blue coating. Um, basically, we decided at one point it was going to be a bit of a joke, and it was just something we always laughed about. Went on stage, full audience there, six, seven hundred people. Went on stage, took the microphone, down on one knee, in front, of everybody. In front of everybody. And you were wearing something unusual at the time. <laughs> <laughs> what were you wearing? I'd actually just dressed up as a crocodile, and I'd oh. just come out of a crocodile suit, and so it was all hot and sweaty, and oh, my hair dear. was everywhere. Not but too glamorous. No, and you said yes in front of everybody? I did, yes. Oh, that is fantastic, that's yeah. fantastic. Well, some good luck to you both tonight. I wish you well. You're playing against someone else, you'll meet him in just a moment, but for now, thank you. Your chaise long awaits, George and Melanie! <laughs> Meet their opponent, he'll be doing his bit to stop Melanie and George discovering the identity of his other half. Please give a very warm welcome to Stuart Coffey. Hi, Stuart. Good to see you. Oh. Half your the eye that way. Them's the couple you're playing against. You're trying to fool tonight with the other half. Who knows what's going to happen? But first of all, without giving too much away, I guess I should ask you: What do you do for a living? I'm a pilot under training with the Royal Air Force. Oh, the boys in blue. And probably one of the most endearing qualities this gentleman has, which attracted him to his other half and vice versa, is he does something with his nose and ears and, and tongue, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, you have to see this. This, you have to see. Are you ready? I'm ready. Now, you can roll your ears into a ball. Yep. <laughs> and you can do something with your tongue. Touch your nose with... Oh, stop it. <laughs> dear, oh dear, not nice. Uh, the other thing is, a bit of a romantic. Now, the girl you're looking for loves poetry. And because is it true you, you send her odes? Every card I write, yep. Oh, really? Oh, how sweet. So, from the word go was this? Yep, from the word go. So things sort of went from bed to verse. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you lots of luck tonight. I wish you both lots of luck. For now, thank you, Stuart. Your chair awaits. <laughs> Here's where the game starts. Backstage are four flying cuties who all claim to have flown with Stu, but only one of them has pulled his chocks away. <laughs> so, let's hear for the girls! Hello, my name's Lisa. I first met Stuart watching rugby. While the teams were passing on the pitch, Stuart was making passes at me. <laughs> Sasha, you know, it's not true that every girl loves a man in uniform. I much prefer Stuart out of his. Hi there, my name's Elaine. I met Stuart on a skiing holiday, and as soon as I saw his slalom, I knew we were on a slippery slope. Victoria, 
and I met Stuart when he was stationed in Eastern Europe and I soon joined him on night maneuvers. <laughs> Girls. Hello, Hello Dale. Dale. I don't know. One of them is telling the truth. The others want to be estate agents. <laughs> I think they're all absolutely gorgeous. You are so lucky, Stuart. You are so lucky. Right, well, I would at this point say to you, what are your first thoughts? Who do you think it might, might not be? But I don't think you've got enough information yet. Hold those first impressions at the moment, because it's home video time. Now, earlier this week, I went to the home that Stuart shares with one of our beautiful quartet and poked through their various nooks and crannies for clues as to which one of them it is. Now, pay attention because afterwards you get to ask three questions. Come on, Graham. This is Charlie Whiskey, email 629. Do you get to press taxi to Baltimore? You know, I've seen Top Gun eight times. I'll show you how to fly this. No. 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 And brakes on. We're here. This is amazing. He's put me down in suburbia. Talk about door to door. His house is only over there. At first glance, this is my kind of development. No riff raff. While I say that, there's no riff, but plenty of raff. Because this, of course, is RAF Cranwell. On the outside, it's one story. On the inside, it's the same story. Magnolia, Magnolia, <laughs> Magnolia, <laughs> Magnolia. But to set off this wonderful colour, a beautiful his and hers display cabinet full of trophies. His and hers, and she may well be proud. She's been winning basketball awards since 1990, even up to recently the Iceni Trophy in 1998. Ah, but who are those two? A police duck woman and a policeman pig? That actually is a major clue to her identity. For the rest of that clue, I need to take you upstairs. Do you know, I'd sell my soul just for a hint of Rosewood Stippling. <laughs> Make yourself at home, Stuart said. So I did. In the bedroom. Now, have a good look at those four girls. Because the girl you're looking for, Stuart's other half, is a real hero and brilliant in a crisis. Here's a certificate to prove it, when she won an award for bravery in the days when she used to be a police constable. It isn't all good, though, I'm afraid. Style is not her middle name. Witness these musical socks. <laughs> Well, I've given you more information than you need. Well, I'll give you two more clues. This is Lindsay, the family dog. And this is baby Gemma. Now, you can see she's got daddy's blue eyes. But which of the four girls do you think she resembles the most? Me? I gotta fly. I promised to write. Close the window, Dale. Thank you so much. That was such a good day out. I really enjoyed myself that day. Now then, you've got three questions. Who's it going to be to first and what's it going to be? Sasha, what kind of plane was Stuart flying in the video? When Stuart comes home, we never talk shop. Mm. Well, that, that's, that, that's quite convincing. Mm. Another question. So, who's it going to be next? It was mine. Victoria, um, if you're meant to be a basketballer, could you demonstrate me a layup? <laughs> oh. I've got <laughs> it, but if you see my skirt and my high heel shoe, I don't think you thought that would be... Could you talk me through it? It's the second question, and you're only allowed to ask. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll tell you this much, I could do it in high heels and a skirt, I promise you that. We've got one more question, who's it going to be to? Lisa, I've done something really naughty. Could you read me my rights? You don't have to say anything, but what you're saying may be taken down in evidence and used against you. Okay. I have to say, I've heard it many times, and she's right. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's absolutely right. Um, you've, you've used all your questions up. The only person you didn't ask a question was, was Elaine, wasn't it? So, was that because you're pretty sure she isn't, or because you think she might well be and you'll save it till later? She looks far too nice to be a policewoman, Dale. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. I well, a bit more help on the way. Now, Stuart, <laughs> were I to say to you, which cartoon character do you think your other half resembles most? Who would it be? 
It would have to be Speedy Gonzalez, Dale. Oh, why? Because uh, she does everything at double speed. You behave. <laughs> you behave. Talk about your other half like that. I don't know. Lisa! You might well be his other half. I don't know. But if you are, you certainly know which cartoon character he resembles most. What do you think? It'd have to be Dumbo, because he's got big ears and he can fly. Oh. <laughs> yeah, only a real other half would, would say that. <laughs> Sasha. Hello, gorgeous. Hello. Darling, what do you think? Oh, I think it'd have to be King Louis from the Jungle Book. Oh, why is that? Well, he's well built, hairy. Trust me, Dal, he's a real king of the swingers. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Elaine, my dear, the one you so silent for so long. What do you reckon? <laughs> if you're his other half, who do you think his cartoon would be? He is ultimately Fred Flintstone. He looks great in an animal skin, but then again, he has got some opinions that are totally Stone Age. Oh, you mean like this old-fashioned male show his pig? Absolutely. Is he, is he, they're all very positive, very, very convincing, aren't they? Yes. Oh. I'm sorry. I've got to sit here. I've got to have a better view. Right. <laughs> Victoria. Excuse my back, by the way. No Some say my best side. But... <laughs> uh, what would you say would be the one cartoon character that he would resemble the most? He would be my Scooby-Doo, because he's scared of the dark. Oh, I'm scared of the dog. He flies planes. I think this is terrible. Oh. Well, you see, he is going home with one of them tonight, but I wonder which one it is. Are you getting there, any nearer? I must admit, I haven't got a clue at the moment, Dale. Oh, <laughs> okay. They're not getting that away, but are you impressed so far with what you've heard? I'm impressed with the girls. Very, very impressed. <laughs> <laughs> they are lovely, aren't they? Never mind. Time for Kiss and Tell, or as it's known here, Snuggle and Snog. Our four fabulous females, these dishy Delilahs, are going to take it in turns to kiss Stuart. Now, believe me, it's the best checkout line he's ever been in. So, girls, pack her up, and remember, don't take yes for an answer. Are you ready? Off you go. You see, I think that's the hungry way, you see. Oh, starving. Very continental. <laughs> and the time has come when you have to decide which one of those girls it is. Could it be uh, Victoria, who's very Eastern European, but quite like that? Or is it Elaine? Could it be Sasha, who looked very menacing when she went up to kiss him? Or is it Lisa, who really has been quite quiet and demure? One of those girls is his other half. I need you to tell me. For a place in the semi-final and a chance to win a great holiday, who is it? Victoria definitely looks the part. Tall, possible basketball player. And her little girl's got brown, brown hair. Brown hair. But right. And he's dark as well. So. Okay, well, first of all, tell me why it's, not, why it's not Sasha and why it's not Elaine. <laughs> uh, I'm just not at all convinced by Sasha at all. No. No. I'm sorry. Just the whole body language just wasn't right. And she didn't give a lot about the plane. About the play? Yeah. yeah. I think she could have told us something. I don't think she really knew, and I think you oh, would fair enough. Husband. So why do you think it isn't Elaine? It was a kiss. There wasn't enough passion in the No passion in the there, Dale, at all. No tongues, was no, there? there was no. <laughs> Go on, make your choice. Who's it going to be? Lisa. 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 It's Lisa. Are you sure? I think we're going to have to do this no, no. <laughs> It's Lisa, is it Lisa? It's your fault if we get it wrong. It's Lisa. It's Lisa. <laughs> Are they right, audience? Yeah. Yes, no, yes, no. What do they know? I don't know now. Here's where we find out whether it's good night and thank you. Oh, well, the Stuart's saying goodnight to us at the moment. So, your other half, which one is it? I don't think I can stand it any longer. Please, girls, tell me. Who are you?
<laughs> we look absolutely right together, don't yeah, we? We look absolutely yeah. right together. Thanks to our decoys, you're wonderful. You, on the other hand, well, you are a couple, which is great, so you fooled nobody tonight. How about a case of champagne because of the other half? Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. That's great. Oh, fantastic. Weren't they wonderful? Weren't they wonderful? <laughs> You've played a blinder so far. I wonder what you're going to go home with. It's up to the next round to see who you're going to be playing against. For that, I need this. And I'll tell you why. Well, you're not going to believe Tomo and Sandra Thomas. They are our next contestants. So please welcome Tomo and Sandra. <laughs> Barbados is the one you're going for. I can't help you, but Richard can. If you manage to spot his other half from those three beauties, is it Victoria, Sasha or Elaine? You need to know, because earlier he wasn't telling the truth, but he's going to now. So, Richard, tell me a little bit about yourself and life with one of those fabulous girls. My other half. Um, I met my other half on a cruise ship. I was working as a chef. She was working as a dancer. She's very sensitive, a bit shy, and a bit clumsy. A bit, but that's okay, though, because you still love her. You yeah. still love her. Now, all those girls are potential other halves, aren't they? Yeah. Watch closely. They're each going to tell you a story of life with Richard. Mmm. I wonder, we'll start with you, Victoria. Lovely Victoria. Tell me, what's it like being with Richard? Richard thinks he's a DIY expert, but it's taken him two years to finish our bathroom, mainly because of his real passion, which is rare comics. Rare comics. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Some people think he's quite boring, but they haven't seen what I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> his Superman impression in just his pants. Oh. Mm. oh, fair enough. I wonder. See, the thing is, you know, what do you think so far? It's difficult. If she really does love him, you know, I wonder how she'd tell him. Go on, tell him you love him, Victoria. Richard, I love you because no two days are ever the same and I never know what you're going to do next. Oh, oh it's very sweet, isn't it? Very convincing, but you haven't heard the other two yet. Sasha, darling, tell me what life's like with Richard. Well, Richard does a lot of shift work, so it makes our life together quite hard to plan. He's always getting into bed as I'm getting out of it. Can be frustrating, but whenever he has time off, takes me away to hotels for the weekend, and then he spoils me rotten. Well, that sounds good. And because he's so good to you, do you always tell him you love him? I always do. And Richard, I love you. Because whenever I lose my temper with you, you still tell me how much you care. Oh. <laughs> See, they're both very good, aren't they? And you haven't even heard Elaine yet. That's lovely. So it's really <laughs> lovely, isn't it? Elaine, if you really are his other half, would you tell me what life is like with the boy Richard? Well, although Richard's a trained chef, this doesn't mean to say I always get to eat exotic foods because his favourite meal is egg and chips. We both love going to the cinema, although I cry at everything and he just gets really embarrassed and stuffs his face with popcorn. <laughs> we have different tasting clothes, but he'll always wear the ties I buy him even though he hates them. All oh, right, so that is real love, isn't it? Does that mean you tell him often that you love him? Go on, tell yeah. him now. Richard, I love you because you're funny, <laughs> handsome and daft as a brush. <laughs> All three girls said it with feeling and emotion. What I need you to do is tell me which of those three girls you think is Richard's other half, because that is where we will place the holiday in Barbados. So who's it going to be? Okay, Victoria. Victoria. Victoria for the holiday in Barbados. Okay, there it is. Now, would you please tell me which one of those girls you think is least likely to be his other half, because that is where we'll place the trip around the M25. I'm going with Elaine on Elaine, that. Elaine, yeah. I agree Elaine, with that. Definitely. Why? Definitely. Definitely. Definitely not Elaine. Elaine for the M25. They just don't look like a couple, I don't they think. They just don't look like a couple. No. There's the M25, which of course means by default, Sasha, if she is the other half, is worth a thousand pounds to you, okay? So let me ask you, Sasha, for one thousand pounds, would you please tell me that you are the right girl? I'm afraid I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Which means it is either Barbados or a trip around the M25. Um, have you been to Barbados? Uh, no. Not recently. No. Have, you been, have you been to the M25? Yes. Oh dear. For a trip around the M25, Elaine, are you the right girl? You know what? I am. 
Chris, let's see how you look together. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, I am so sorry. Oh, I am so A trip around the M25. Oh, well, I mean... <laughs> but what can I give you? What can I give you? Um, I'll give you... I'll give everything I've got. A, a photo of Mystic Meg. You can have that. Um, a rubber band. What else have I got in my pocket here? A BBC tube pen. How about... I upgrade the car. Right, we'll give you a four-wheel car, not a three-wheel car. <laughs> we'll give you a man with a hat to drive it, and maybe we'll let you pull off the M25 or nearby to a five-star hotel for dinner, for two, and an overnight stay. How do you think? What do you think? Sounds good to me. Thank That's you. good. Oh, brilliant. Well done. <laughs> Thank you to our group close. Thank you to our wonderful couple. And thank you to you for being wonderful players starting <laughs> the other half. That takes care for another night. We'll see you again very soon. Have a good night. Good night now.